Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Sally is one of my favorite Disney characters. That is my favorite Disney movie. It's definitely my favorite Tim Burton movie. Um, I'm obsessed with Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, if you guys want to see me do this look, just keep watching because it was a whole lot of fun and I think it turned out great. Uh, but also make sure you follow me on Instagram where I'm doing 100 days of makeup and I'm doing a full week of Nightmare Before Christmas looks that I've never done before. So uh, if you want to see those, follow me over there. But if you want to see how I created Sally, then just keep watching. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is take this kind of minty green lip pencil that I have and just map out where I want everything. So Sally's dress is a v-neck, so we're going to create that kind of collar line here. It is very hard to do on yourself. And then bring it up and back. I say that's fairly even. I mean it is Sally so it doesn't have to be perfect. And then her sleeves, I want to kind of start actually where my strap is so I don't have to create that line, but I'm just going to outline where I want it so that I know if the straps move or if I decide to take them down, that this is where it should be. So we are gonna start with Sally's skin. I already have my brush a little bit wet here, and I'm gonna take some of the teal paint in my Wolf FX palette and a little dollop of white as well. So we're kind of making Sally's skin tone here, which is like this minty sort of green. So we're just going to start by covering our whole face in this color. All right, so I am very, very teal now. So I think the next part is to just start working on the panels of the dress. So this side we are gonna do pink and this side we are going to do yellow because I believe that is the order of the costume just off the top of my mind. So I'm gonna start with pink. So I don't really have like a magenta-y pink, but I do have like a pink pink. So we're going to go with that as our color for it because every time I see Sally, every time I see someone paint Sally, every time I see her like as a Funko Pop or on a cartoon or you know whatever, she's a little bit different every time. Like the color, the hues I guess of the colors but the uh, main kind of idea is always there so I'm going in with pink right along our little guideline that we made before and yes i'm using a very small brush right now because my big brushes are all dirty so but i rather outline it uh as evenly as i can with this color and this small brush and then go in with a big brush later We did the pink, now I'm going to do the yellow. All of the paint I'm using is from my water activated Wolf FX palette. If you're interested in it, it is the essentials one. It kind of has all your primary colors. There's pink, purple, white, orange, green, red, gray, black, brown, um, this kind of aqua-y teal color. 
um, a dark blue and then yellow. So you can really uh, do like anything basic with it, um, just basic face paint if that's what you do. Um, or if you want to do like full things with lots of tones and hues, you have all your colors to kind of mix together there. So now we're going to work on the yellow panel. So these paints are really great. These are the ones I started out with. Um, this Nazaru Clown White was like the first one I ever purchased. But for like water activated paints, these are the first ones I ever tried. And they have been tried and true for me. I've used them for three Halloweens now. I think this is my like third uh, year with them, I think. Um, and I mean, they're great. I obviously use them more than just on Halloween. Uh, but this is, I got them at IMATS my freshman year of college. So I guess I've had them almost, I, like this April is like four years, which is crazy that they've lasted this long and that they're in really good shape. I mean, I take care of my stuff, so that does obviously make a difference, but I can mix and move. I am running out of like my gray and my white in here just because those are used so frequently. For me, I use a lot of gray and white for highlighting and shading and all that stuff. So we'll just do this. But yeah, these paints are great. Um, the guy at the booth who actually like helped me when I went over uh, told me like how to use them, gave me a little tutorial. They gave me a couple like free sponges to take uh, so I could you know, get used to it. Uh, I really wish I still had sponges to do this because God was that so much faster when I could paint with sponges. But now I am just water and brush. I really wanna step up to an airbrush system, but I know they are expensive and they take a lot of practice and the products are really expensive. So maybe one day I'll get an airbrush, but right now it's just not in the realm of things I can get. So I am going to use this big flat brush that I have. This is my like contouring brush, but it works really well for paint. And I'm going into the teal color and I'm not going to mix it this time. I'm just going to leave it as is. Just deep teal kind of color. And then so you'll see the difference between the arm and this. But this brush just holds so much water. But this is gonna be our sleeve of the dress. So the other sleeve is yellow, which is great because that's really easy for me because I already have a yellow brush. I don't have to mix any colors here. The problem is, is it's on my right side. So that creates some issues because your girl is right-handed. So now we're going on to the fun part. We are going to start the design portion. This is very exciting. This is the part where we get to really make it look like Sally. So I'm taking a liner brush and just dipping into my black paint. And I'm going to create these stitches first. The stitches in her chest where her skin is sewn together. And I'm just going to take it up the middle as best I can. So I'm just gonna outline while we're here all of this on the dress. This is something I never used to do when I would body paint. I would never, ever, ever outline anything. And I could never figure out what my looks were missing, like why they didn't look quite right. Now we're gonna start working on the designs. The pink panel of the dress has swirls so we're gonna do that I mean they don't have to be perfect because on her they're always kind of a little bit wonky like they're hand painted trying to make them not all go the same direction but that's really hard well if I remember correctly this panel is just plain so I'm just gonna darken up the separation line so you know which side is which. So to finish off the neck part, 
we are going to go around the portion of my neck where it meets my head because it's like her head is sewn on here. Okay, and it doesn't, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're gonna add little stitch marks. So just kind of going down, little X's. I'm gonna add a few stitch marks here as well to be like the panels uh, being sewn together. And I'm also gonna do stitch marks coming off of the straps on my uh, top here so that it looks stitched on. The sleeve on this side has stripes, so we're going to do some stripe marks. Now that we have the body done, uh, I'm going to start working on her facial features. So I'm going to start with some red paint. Just got to wet my cake here. The red I rarely use anything. It's because I have so much red lipstick. I never have to use the red. Uh, but we're going to create her mouth. Sally has really big lips. Like when she smiles, they pull really far across. So we're going to paint on some lips. Just going from my own lip shape So I didn't like the way the lips looked, so like the initial way I painted them, so I actually covered up that teal uh, with a little bit of just, or the red with a little bit of teal. So I'm just going to fix the lips a little bit here. Uh, Sally's mouth is like a joker mouth that was actually sewn closed. So back we go with the lines. The little guy who was in our wedding, who was our ring bearer, uh, actually is obsessed with Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, he knows all the words to This Is Halloween. So proud. Uh, and he is just the cutest little thing. He performs like the whole number for me when I come over. Uh, we watch Nightmare Before Christmas together all the time. When I babysit him, or when we're just hanging out at the house. Okay, and then Sally's eye has a stitch that comes all the way down from her eye. And then little marks here and we'll do like a big x where like they would come together here all right so i think we have the face down now it's time for the eyes we need a brush and i'm not gonna create like a new pupil i'm just gonna go with my own uh, natural pupil and eye and just draw the actual eyeball really big because that's basically the shape of her eye is just this really big uh, white of her eye so we're just gonna paint this this is just a liner brush I'm using so to blend this all out because it's so uh, streaky Basically, I'm just taking my finger and patting it all out. 
All right, so I'm actually gonna go grab a white eyeshadow and put that over top of all of this, just so it is like extra, extra white. And I'm gonna do that on the other eye too, and then I'll be right back to kind of add the touches. So now we have that. Now I have one more little stitch to do, and that is the one that comes from her forehead. So taking my liner with a little black, we're gonna go from her eye, try and line it up with that one down below, right up the forehead. And do our stitch marks as we did before. All right guys, so this is the finished product. I love it. I think this is probably one of the best paints I've done in a really long time and it just feels really good to be like this creative and have it turn out okay because <laughs> sometimes things just don't turn out the way that you want them to uh, but I think this turned out so good it looks cute I think it looks accurate uh, so if you guys like this make sure you like share comment and subscribe down below I am doing a whole week of nightmare before Christmas looks on my Instagram for 100 days of makeup. So you will see obviously Sally, um, Lock, Shock, and Barrel. On Wednesday, my video will be the mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas. And then I am painting Sean like Jack. So that will be up on Instagram. And then I am doing a twist on Oogie Boogie. So if you guys want to see all of that, make sure you follow me over there. Make sure you're liking and commenting down below, letting me know what you wanna see next. I'll see you guys in the next one.